that is a sleep trigger. Okay, we are back. We'll tell the farmer we're done and he can come and take his equipment away. Um, tell the farmer we're done. That's a good plan. Fertilizing contract still there, so we will collect on that, which is another 15,000. This is really not worth much. But we'll do it. Plowing contract. Oh, nice. And the sowing contract is... Sowing wheat. Anyway, let us... efficient he's already been and gone and we're up to 73 so this will you know barely clear 75,000 but as I said we've got we own the equipment we're using here so and I need to I need an excuse to go back to the store and go fetch the rest of our liquid fertilizer and since the field is on the other side of the store um, we can go past the store, load this up completely, and then if there is any extra, um, we'll grab what we can on the way back. Okay. I did buy, I bought the the dry fertilizer which is, you know, you buy it dry, it doesn't take up a lot of space, one pallet, and then you uh, dilute it in the tanks and it's three times the capacity of an IBC. So good deal. Well, it's not a good deal. It's yeah. Purchase-wise, it costs three times what an IBC costs, but handling-wise, it's it's a single pallet rather than three IBCs. And I was pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna go through that over the years. So buying the bulk is not too not a bad move and anyway we already made the turn so store will be on our right when we get there Okay, and there's, I think, there's some nice, nice sized fields on this map, so we're not going to be stuck late in the game. Um, and early on, the field, you know, a lot of the fields are fairly cheap. Field 50, I think, was 50,000. Um, so it's, it's affordable. Okay, we are here. Run in front of the car. Yay. And select the front tank. Alrighty, let's uh, pull up to this and get it loaded. That's the first one. Select the rear tank. All right, and as I said, I don't know if we're going to use all of this up or whether there's going to be a little bit left. There's going to be a little bit left. That's about 200 liters. Um, so hopefully, we'll use oops, more than that. 
on the contract and we'll be able to pick up the rest and take it back to the yard. And probably need to be back in the uh, back in the cab so we can appreciate the uh, the trees to the face. So again, another new area I've not been yet. I think there is something on the right up ahead and hopefully access to the field behind it. That looks like a silo. So it's probably a cell point. a sign there. Fresh produce. It's oh, a good sign. Oh and this is okay. Yes. So farm track to the uh, the fresh produce place plus access to the field we want to be on. Alright. Now, I probably want to change the application uh, change work with and I spray uh, I wonder is there a way to turn auto off? Maybe I have to unfold it first. Um, you can change the nitrogen reference value. Okay. Change work width, control Z. Okay. <sighs> Hi, radar worker, turn on sprayer. Those are my only options. There we go. Uh, Oh, I might not have it. That's button nine. I might not have it mapped again. I said last week. Um, I vehicle stuff, vehicle work. Possibly under precision farming. Camera pause game skip message box game. Driving lights not used. Okay. Cultivate field creator. Increased running speed, delete object. I'm going to have to, if I ever do field creation with the cultivator, I'm going to have to figure that bit out. Um, but, um, guidance steering, that's not what we're doing. Precision farming. Uh, increase bear out. Toggle auto. Okay. A good thing. Crop sensor activation. Don't know what that does. Okay, so I should now have.
Ah, yes, of course. The other thing I do need is increase spray amount. Let's go L and M. L and M. So let us. Okay. Um, I think I'm happy with that now. We can turn that off. And turn on the sprayer and drive. So yeah, technically since this field hasn't started growing yet, I should probably be chucking solid fertilizer out on it, not liquid. Fifty liters used, so I kind of figure we'll use two hundred before the end of this. And I'm not keeping an eye on um, what's the word for it? Uh, how complete the contract is? Messages. Obviously, we can do these contracts a lot faster if I had a larger working width on the sprayer. And it's, it's an option we can add to this. And as I said, we've also got the option to see and spray weeds, but I'm not, probably not going to do that if I can avoid it. The problem is, is even if you spray weeds with a sea and spray, you're still taking a hit on, um, uh, what is it, Ye crop yield. So it's kind of just best to uh, deal with the weeds mechanically and um, take the environmental score hit. At least that's my opinion. But we will probably play around with things and see see how bad things are. As far as I'm aware, you, using using for, uh, what's it herbicide on crops is just bad. Maybe spraying a field before the uh, the crop emerges won't badly affect the yield. Maybe, possibly, who knows? Uh, keep going. Okay, I'm figuring we've definitely got the capacity to bring the last of the stuff, and we're at ninety three percent done. might have to do the triangles at the end of the field, but it's certainly not looking that way. Okay, turn that off. Fold that up. Okay, I think we can call up the farmer and say that job is done. So plowing we would have to borrow the equipment and sowing we would have to borrow the equipment because we don't have any of that yet. And the baling contracts, I'm really not enthused by these. Um, got a small round baler, a wrapper and just these things. Yeah, I kind of like the big one because we got the the bale stacker. Which gives us a little bit more capacity to ship the bales to the store. The problem is uh, four at a time. 
I mean, those contracts, probably only 25, but that's still six trips. So, not, not too enthusiastic about that, unless the field is right next to the, the selling point or the delivery point. Um, yeah, not inclined to do them. Not at this stage. Once we've got our own equipment, and can bale and wrap and do all the things yeah we may end up uh, we may end up using our own equipment and doing the smaller contracts as well okay let us finish uploading that so there we go, we've managed to buy 6,000 litres of liquid fertiliser and we're about to ship the last of it back to the yard. Whoa, dude, don't stop in front of me. Uh, fine, I'm going. AI traffic, a little bit interesting, I guess. If they detect you in the area, they will stop. Kind of like they used to with workers. There'd be a sort of a cone of, of denial in front of a worker. And you could be working in a field and all the traffic on the road outside of the field would come to a stop until you'd got to the end and turned around and were going back the other way. It's kind of amusing. Especially since, um, well, workers generally didn't leave, leave the field, so why a vehicle was stopping in the roadway on the other side of a hedge or a fence or a, a wall. Yeah. I mean obviously today with the ability to send the worker off on a delivery maybe he is pulling out of the yard and uh, heading off to a cell point and the workers or the, the AI traffic's gonna let him go. We're doing okay. We done good. It's coming up to midday. Um, as I said, there's two baling contracts, a ploughing contract, and a seeding contract. We don't have the equipment for any of that. So we'll leave it at that. We've got no animals, we've got nothing that needs taken care of at this time that we haven't already taken care of. So, uh, right now, I'm going to unload what we have, and we'll wander back to our house, I guess. Call it a day. Well, uh, I suppose we, we could check uh, the front tank. Turn the beacon off. Hmm. Oh, I detected a very slow. There is, it's, it's going to take me a while to figure out where the uh, the unload point is here. But once we've got it figured, it should be a lot easier. I hope. I mean, the other option is just to. Oh, well, there you go. I didn't get the prompt to say unload here, but. That did 
kind of work. So let's try and get the rear tank to exactly the same place and fail. Okay, I am going to do the frustrated cheating thing and uh, just push it next to the any super strength. This is uh, maybe fill the front thing. Okay, that's working. I don't know. Maybe you have to be on that uh, icon to uh, empty it into the tank. Or maybe I'm unloading the tank and refilling it. Nope, there's 557 litres in that, so... Seven. No. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have pushed it close to the uh, to the doodad. Let's uh, pull in on this side, well away from the uh, fill on, filling icon. See if we can stop at five hundred and fifty-seven, which we did that in the unload and boom unload yay okay we finally got all our liquid fertilizer back to the farm I'm gonna guess that maybe it will work if I park it where it needs to be where the icon is and we'll leave the icons up for now uh, maybe later we'll uh, we'll turn them off once we get things figured but for right now I need the guidance okay how are we doing for diesel we're doing fine okay I think I might just leave the tractor in this shed too the tank. Uh, um, uh, hitch it. Maybe I'll put it in the shed over here. And there we go. Ha! Uh, So yeah, the other thing we can do, rather than buying from the store, I can come here and just say... Yeah, I need 2,000 litres, and that's 2,640, whereas from the store... It's more expensive. Ah... Time to investigate. Generally my experience is if you try and fill stuff up, getting stuff delivered, 
So, 989 litres of seed. Um, 989 is more expensive for seed. That's uh, 900. So there's a sort of a 10% delivery fee. If you use that, and I don't know that there is no, there aren't seeds here. But yeah, that's three times that. So solid fertilizer 1400. Hang on a minute. Oh, that's for only 750. Okay, we'll ignore that. Um, is 1820 for solid fertilizer bags. And the solid fertilizer is over here. And it's for a thousand liters. 1760. It would appear getting fertilizer delivered is cheaper, getting seed delivered not so much. And then here we can... Okay, that wasn't my intent. <sighs> because I was in the wrong place, I wanted to be here. Um, so we can get like a thousand liters of fuel for 1300, which since I don't know that there's a gas station on this map, that'll be where we're filling up most of the time. I got a collectible. Well, shucks. We just made 50,000 without trying. Uh, meanwhile, our fields are 50 and 55. We've got grass and sunflowers. Um, the sunflowers are nearly done. I should probably turn the grass off on so we can see how that's faring. Uh, so the grass is almost full grown as well. Um, soil composition. We turn on needs plowing. The sunflowers do not need to be plowed. That is. Um, kind of nice. This field is good. So I don't have to plow it at the end of the year and then stuff. So anyway, that's our field. So potentially we've got to wait until October before we can harvest these. They might come in early in September, but I think in general, um, change of the month is when stuff happens. There weren't any good contracts available. I will check the store when we get home. See if there's anything for sale. A little bit of a walk down to the house. Well, we did start the day getting a ride down to the uh, the shop so the Land Rover ended up back in our driveway and there's our doormat which now doubles up as a sleep point so let's look at sale items so the Roland's still available but as I said it's a long trailer and um, very expensive for what it is and it's only got a 15,000 litre capacity. Um, this thing is a planter for corn, sunflowers and soybeans. Use wheel weights on the tractor. Needs 150 horsepower is 6 metres. We could actually use this. Um, it might be something I want to buy. I'll leave it till next time, I think. Because I, I wasn't planning to plant corn, maize or soybeans. 
or sugar beets or cotton. I don't think we can sell cotton, but the first four we can we could actually plant and sell. But that wasn't in my plan for the coming year. Kind of want something that produces straw, or I'm going to have to buy a field that uh, has straw, or I'm going to have to do a contract that uh, I can collect the straw on. But to do that, I need a baler. Oh, that's. I don't need it, but it would be a good plan for future. But it may come, you know, something like that may come up again. So, not going to worry about that. Um, let's go there. I'll sleep till seven. Oh, so. <coughs> Excuse me. This will put a second day of December, oh, second day of September even. Uh, contracts are, oh, lots, lots of fertilizing contracts. We've still got the plowing contract, we've still got the seeding contract. And we've got four baling contracts, one of which... Nah, doesn't have a good transporter but we could do four fertilization contracts today and I'll check the store first thing in the morning there is a Landini orchard tractor yeah I don't really need that and a two row billet planter for sugar cane also don't need that because I think our calendar does not support sugarcane or cotton, but it does support everything else. So, yep, that's the thing. Let's go back to here and yeah. And that might update later on, but for right now, not happening. Uh, so, I think we will call it there. Thank you all for watching, and for right now, have a good weekend. I'm out of here.